Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Foundation Fridays and today I'm reviewing another Tarte foundation. This is the Clay Stick Foundation. It is one of their best sellers so I'm really really curious to see how I like them. So as always I will put all the information in screen and here on the right I will link the Foundation Fridays playlist so you can see every single Foundation Fridays I did. <laughs> okay, so I already primed and I will put the primers in the description down below because you guys know the drill, I just prime with my own primer so it doesn't affect the foundation. It comes in this cardboard box and then this is the packaging. I got a few shades here in front of me. I have Fair Light Neutral, Fair Neutral and I also want to contour my face with it so I also have Light Medium Neutral. I think I'm Fair Neutral but I also have the lighter one so I can highlight, contour and foundation all at once. Um, I thought it would be fun for a change. I believe that they have a lot of shades and um, I can't wait to try it out. So I'm just going to go right ahead with Fair Light Neutral. My experience with stick foundations is that your beauty blender doesn't need to be as wet. So I made sure to squeeze out all the water in here. So this is the first layer all blended in, so shade wise it actually is pretty good. You guys know that my neck is lighter than my face is because I have a lot of freckles. Coverage wise I would say it's a light to medium, um, though it looks very very natural and most of my unevenness is um, evened out. So that's pretty good, so if you're going for a nice everyday um, foundation. This is definitely it. It feels it feels like I have nothing on my skin. Um, the coverage is pretty for every single day. You guys know I love full coverage, so I'm going to go in with more foundation stick. Um, but this time I'm also going to apply the lighter and the darker one, and then a little bit more of the other one. And then just blend everything in. Here you can see the difference between fair neutral, fair light neutral, and light medium neutral. I didn't want to go too dark because I only have more warmer shades. Um, so I'm just going in with a light medium neutral. So I have all the three shades applied to my face and I'm gonna blend it in once again with my beauty blender. Hey guys, it's Future Kim, so uh, the file after this one, the video file, went corrupt, so I don't have it anymore, but I do have the audio file. While blending, I'm just gonna play the audio file so you guys know my opinion after I blended everything in. So as you can see, the three shades blended in really, really nice and seamless. And also the second layer, I applied a little bit more than the first layer, and it is really, really, really full coverage right now. And it doesn't even look cakey at all. Also, the texture around my nose is not really that visible. So this is definitely a very, very pretty foundation. And I will definitely use this one a lot more. The finish is... I would say it's a satin finish. It has still some sheen right through it. Um, and I also think it will need some setting because it's not really settling down. I feel like the foundation is more on the moisturizing side, so if you are oily, you should definitely apply a little bit more powder. Um, but overall, I love the way my skin is looking right now. So, um, as always, I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup and afterwards come back with a final verdict. So, as you can see, I did the rest of my makeup and I just did a tutorial on how to highlight. So if you want to see that, it will be up either next week or maybe a few days ago so um, definitely go to my channel and check it out so as for the foundation i really 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 love it it is really good it is super full coverage the finish is really pretty and also worked very very well with all the products on top um, i definitely love this foundation and i will use it for sure 
Um, what I like most about it is that you can wear it like one layer is really pretty for every single day. When you apply a second or even a third layer, it is full coverage, but it doesn't feel like anything is on your skin. This foundation will definitely be one of my new favorites, and you guys will see me wear this one pretty often, I think. I hope you can see it on camera too, but in real life it looks really, really good. It doesn't even look like I have much foundation on. And that is actually it for this review. So I really, really want to thank you guys. So I really, really want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please a thumbs up because it really, really helps me out. Also, let me know in the comments down below what foundation you want to see next. And yeah, subscribe to my channel. And that is it. I just want to thank you for watching. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye.